Okay. This is, for those of you who have never created your own PowerPoint before, those of you who have uh, can skip this particular one. When you start uh, PowerPoint, uh, this is what comes up. This is a very simple template. And all you do is essentially fill in the blanks. Now, I'm a lousy typist, and to save you a lot of grief watching me labor through my typing, I've typed everything out in Notepad first so I can cut and paste. So you simply click on the area, type in what you want to put in there. Very simple. Once you're done with the title page, you can go over here, do a right click, new slide, and this is how the rest of the slides will work. There's an area for the title, and then an area for your information in it. You can add text. The default is in point format. You can change that. You can also put in tables, charts, smart art, the media clips, clip art, or pictures. So to start with I'm going to put in the title here. Once again you just click in the box, type it in, and nothing could be easier to create PowerPoint slides. I'm done with that page. So I simply go back over here, another right click, new slide, and I need to have the title there. Just click there, view, and in this case I want graphics. So I simply select the graphic that I want. put it wherever I want it, change the size a bit. Now I also want to add something down here, a title for it. So I simply click Insert Text Box. And so you can add your own boxes wherever you want to. You don't have to uh, necessarily put them there. So uh, there that is. I don't like that font. I mean, it's way too small. So I'll give it a bigger font size. And as you can see in the background, it is changing size as I do things. So there we go. I can drag the text or change the size, um, adjust it. That looks good. So there we have a very basic three slide slideshow. And so I'm going to save this and later we'll come back to it and uh, do formatting. Now I've already saved it once, so it do, does have a name here. In files that you're going to save on the internet, that you're going to send through WebCT, that you're going to put on wikis, whatever, if you're dealing with the internet, do not use spaces. Do not. In your essay titles, in your journal review titles, do not put in spaces. Put in hyphens or underscores. The internet hates spaces. The internet has a specific use for the space character, and so it can cause problems if you include a space, which is why I used a hyphen there. So that's it for this.